Wanted to check in with Mike Florio from ProFootballTalk.com. Had uh, one of the sharper columns as we move it forward with Aaron Rodgers getting injured last night. Packers knew that Rodgers had uh, fractured his collarbone. To what degree, they probably didn't know. They have an x-ray machine there at Lambeau. So they knew in the third quarter, maybe at halftime, they knew exactly what was going on. Afterwards, Mike McCarthy is not answering questions about the severity of the injury, you know, what they're going to do, what his plan B. Obviously, Seneca Wallace is not going to be their quarterback. Uh, but it, how long is Rodgers out? Maybe three weeks, maybe a month. Mike Florio joins us now. So Mike McCarthy was coy last night on the injury because of why? Because you got to find another quarterback. You only have one other quarterback on your roster, Seneca Wallace. He didn't look great last night. He's a guy they picked up right before the regular season started. So you've got to go out there and make a move without anyone really knowing how desperate you are to make the move. And the, the real target could be the guy they weren't interested in when he was cut by the Raiders, Matt Flynn, who threw for 480 yards in that offense week 17 of the 2011 season, made a lot of money since then for not playing much football. Coincidentally, he was cut by the Bills yesterday, Dan. He's on waivers now through 4 p.m. Eastern time, and any team that's higher in the pecking order can the, and then the Packers can make a claim and block Matt Flynn from going back to Green Bay if, if any other team wants to do that. What are the other options for Green Bay? Well, you got to hit free agency, and Vince Young's out there. And Vince Young isn't exactly in a position to hold out for more money. He's desperate to play. He was in camp, and they liked him, and he just fell victim to a numbers game and the fact that he wasn't with the team long enough to really be in position to compete and be a backup. And, you know, any of the veterans out there who have any knowledge of that system, of that offense, those are guys that, that the Packers would want to bring in. But the, the, I think the fact that McCarthy was being coy – could have that dotted line back to Flynn, that, that even though they didn't want to bring Flynn back when he was available, now that they need him because Rodgers is injured, they may want to be able to get him, and I think they're going to hold their breath for the next six and a half hours as to whether or not someone else tries to block it. The severity of this injury, right now it is, I guess, a hairline fracture of the collarbone, non-throwing? Uh, There's mixed reports, conflicting reports. But, yeah, when it's a collarbone injury, I'm not aware of many categories other than broken or not broken. <laughs> I was, I'm with you on that, You too. know, I mean, yeah. you injure your – I mean, it doesn't move. It's there. <laughs> if it's injured, it's broken. The question is how bad is it broken? And uh, I think Shefty said three weeks, and Ed Werder said more than that. And, you know, you if you have enough people covering it at one network, you eventually cover all the potential bases. Uh, the NFL hazing with Richie Incognito, the next shoe to drop is what? Well, I think there will be some real questions raised about what the Dolphins knew and when they knew it from a management standpoint. This guy was on the leadership council. Was part of his leadership of the team toughening guys up who needed to be toughened up. You know, that's one of the dynamics that keeps coming up in this. Football is a tough sport. You've got to be mean. You've got to be tough. Jonathan Martin wasn't mean. He wasn't tough. We needed to tough him up. At some point, is Richie Incognito going to say, I was just doing what I thought they wanted me to do. I'm making a guy tough so he'll be a good football player. I think that is a possibility, that that is a, a fork in the road that this thing could take. And also, if the NFL is investigating it, who's doing the investigation? Is it going to be like the bounty case last year where there's a broader cultural problem in the NFL, but the NFL catches one guy red-handed and decides to throw the book at him and not go down the rabbit hole and see how widespread this is and see if other changes need to be made with other teams. Great stuff, Mike. Thanks for joining us. All right, see you, All right, Mike Florio, ProFootballTalk.com. The Dan Patrick Show. Weekday mornings on Audience.